In this video, I wanted to talk about a nested if statement formula. You might be familiar with the if statement and in the nested if, all you do is you take a couple of if statements and you put it in the same formula. So that's why it's called a nested if. And somebody has sent me this sample example and wanted my help with it. So I thought I'll just also use it as a way to introduce everybody to this nested if. If you've never used it, it's a really good thing to know because it will be coming in handy. You'll find the link to the in the description if you wanted to download this file and practice after you watch this video. Now before going to nested if, let's very briefly look at a simple if statement. So I'll come to the if sheet. Here I have some employees and they've done some sales and I need I want to figure out that somebody will get 10% bonus based on the sales and some people will get 1% bonus based on the sales. So this is a good candidate for an if statement because I need to figure out if this is the case, this will happen. Otherwise, something else will happen. So I can start the if statement. So to start if, you usually go into the formulas tab and then logical and then start if. Or you can go into the fx, click it, and then search for the if statement. So let's start if. And the if has three parts to it. One is the logical test. And you will always get the explanation there on the bottom if you needed help. So what is my test? My test is sales should be greater than 7500. So I click on the cell that has the sale because we always use the cell reference. And so I put B2 greater than 7500. So that part is done. Now I go to the second line which is what should happen if that is the case, if the value is true. So I'll say they will get sales multiplied by 10% or 0 0.10 instead of 10%. The third line is what should happen if that is not the case. So I'll say they'll get sales multiplied by 1%. So I just want to give them a 1% bonus or 0 0.01. And I click OK. And then I'll use the fill handle. So it will apply all the formulas to all of those rows. And for some reason that's getting stuck on the top so I'll just change the sheet. So there it is. So the people who that more than 7500 get 10% bonus and less than 7500 get 1% bonus. And if you look in the formula bar you can see that the if statement has three parts. So I can even do it manually like this. So equal to if sales greater than 7500 comma this is my first part. My second part is what should happen if that is the case. So I'll say it will be sales B2 multiplied by 10% comma and then what should happen if that is not the case which is B2 multiplied by 0 0.01 and so that that's the way you can do that. So this is our if statement. So let's come to the nested if. So in this example um, I have some employees who have a basic salary and they have some overtime hours. So based on the basic salary and the overtime hours, we need to figure out the overtime total. So if you look there on the bottom, they have this criteria. Now this is something that this company or individual needed for this exercise, but it could be anything. And so the first criteria is if the salary is less than 2000, what will happen? That is, and then even in that, they have two parts. One is for overtime over 60 hours, they will get basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 times 60. So this is the first 60 hours. And the hours over 60, they will get basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1 multiplied by the difference in the hours. So overtime hours minus the 60. And if the overtime hours are less than 60 hours, they will get the basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 40. So that's their criteria. And if the salary is greater than or equal to 2000, they will get this basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1 multiplied by overtime hours. So, so there are a couple of if ideas going in here and that's why we need to use nested if. So I'll come to the overtime total formula there and we'll start the if statement. You could do this manually however initially it's better to do it with the if box there. So formulas, logical and then if. 
So here, what is my logical test? My logical test is basic salary. So I click on the cell which has the basic salary. Less than, so I'll put the less than symbol, 2000. So this is my initial logical test. And I go to the next line which is value if true. So what is supposed to happen here? What is supposed to happen is there is a condition here that if it, the overtime hours are greater than 60, one thing will happen, otherwise something else. So here, in this line itself, I'll have to put an if statement here. So I'll start if, bracket, overtime hours, so the cell, which is G3, is greater than 60, comma. This is my logical test for the, this line. And if that is the case, what will happen? They will get basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 times 60. So I start basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 times 60. So this part is done. However, if you look below that line, I need to add the hours over 60. For that, they have a different criteria. So here, I'll put a plus sign and then I'll add that second part of this calculation so let's do that part also otherwise I haven't done the whole thing so plus sign basic salary so I click on the cell that has the basic salary divided by 240 multiply by 1 multiply by and I'll put a bracket so I can do the calculation for the hours so the overtime hours cell minus 60 and I close the bracket then I put a comma so value if true is this part. Now what should happen if that is not the case, if the overtime hour is not greater than 60, then it's that line in the red. So all they need to get is the basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 times 40. So I do E3, which is basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1.5 times 40. And here I need to close the bracket. Why? Because when I started the if statement, I had started the bracket. Because if you don't close the brackets properly, you will get an error message. And this is where the bigger errors can happen, is not having the right parentheses and the brackets in place. So this line is done. Now the last part is I need to figure out. I could just put it just like that. However, I'll use an if statement even in here where it's basic salary if it is greater than 2000, what is supposed to happen? So I could have just put that right there, the basic salary divided by 240 part, but I'll use it with an if. So if basic salary is greater than 2000, comma, then what should happen? Well, they will get basic salary divided by 240 multiplied by 1 multiplied by the overtime hour cell. And I'll just close the bracket. I don't need to do the value if false, the third part. So, but you could if you needed it. And then, so the, this line is also done. I can click OK and I use the fill handle. So there is my answer and you can see the last part I've got false which is good so I can explain to you why because the basic salary is 2000 and I forgot to put greater than and equal to in that formula so I'll go back to the original formula and then I'll click there and I'll add the equal sign and I hit enter or the check mark and now use the fill handle so now the answers will be right so this is a nice little introduction to nested if and you can see that whole little line out there in the formula bar and it looks really complicated but once you understand it you'll be able to figure it out and you might find it easy to solve nested if statement in small little chunks and then see and go forward as you know that this part is working and if you need help going to the help function type nested if or do a search on the internet for nested if and you'll find a lot of examples there.